Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you very much to the moderator and also Ghost for allowing us the opportunity to present this so-called preliminary research. Okay. Uh, what I can relate from other presenters just now is like. Uh, Encik Sharudin just now is he's investigating on students' perception on goals, and so I would like to claim that this study is has uh, you know similar summary with Encik um, Julaina's Encik Julaina's slide just now. Okay, we agree to two uh, I think two conclusion. Yeah, the first one is students with low English proficiency language uh, do not fully benefited from e-learning because of their you know, they are linguistically limited, all right? Um, and also, teacher is central in e-learning environment, yeah? So, this study is conducted by uh, Puan Nur Shuhada and me, right? Okay, the topic is investigating the challenges faced by language instructors, okay? Uh, we are analyzing language instructors, not the students, yeah? In integrating goals in their grammar lesson, a case study. Yeah, for your information, uh, I was the course moderator for GEP, General, General English Proficiency, and this is more like a very a basic proficiency English course, yeah? Okay, so as any question, okay, in today's language classroom, a student should not expect the instructor to spoon feed every grammar rule he or she needs to know. I think this is very, I mean, we have heard a lot of the benefits of e-learning. I don't have to, you know, elaborate more on, about, on this. Yeah, the student has to be self-directed, active and autonomous by searching for the information available online or other resources, yeah, in other, uh, uh, before referring to the instructor who acts as the facilitator. Yeah, so the students, okay, this is uh, based on using context on GEP. Yeah? The students who obtain band 1 and 2 in MUET are streamed to sit for the basic course of English, namely GEP. And for last semester, yeah, okay, oh, okay, <laughs> how to use this? This one, okay, okay, and there are about 1814 students registered for this course, right? So basically, there are 25 uh, to 30 students uh, for each group, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so GEP students can be generally categorized as, okay, uh, they are poor in language command, okay, have low level of motivation and self-confidence, passive, dependent and dependent on instructors to help them to grasp the basic grammar. Although there is no, um, you know, uh, study, there is no study uh, on GEP because this is, like I said just now, this is a preliminary study, okay? Inshallah, in the future, I mean, I hope that okay, my team will continue to study more on GEP and how can we help the students, yeah, to benefit from e-learning and benefit from this course especially, yeah? Right? So, these are the problems and challenges of integrating e-learning in curriculum. I mean, this is based on the UTG review. Yeah? So uh, teachers are, uh, I mean, complacent with traditional teaching practices. Okay, these are the challenges faced by the teachers, yeah, the instructors. Okay, staffs are not being well versed in the ICT. You know that today you know, there are many applications uh, such as Prezi, Voki, Go Animate. Okay, all the Jargons, maybe okay, maybe uh, some stuff that are, are technophobia eh, and skeptical of e-learning. These are the reasons why um, you know teachers or maybe um, staffs are complacent with traditional teaching practices. We we more or less we, we would like to depend on the traditional style of teaching, right? Okay, um, and this should be overcome lah. I believe that yeah. So academic staffs are burdened by heavy teaching load. Okay, academic staffs are too engaged with research and public. Okay, basically this is the, the this literature review is gained from a national study conducted by Prof Amin. I think he's everyone knows him. Yeah, he's a leading uh, figure in e-learning. Yeah. Right, uh, so the materials and method used, okay, data and findings are gathered from the researchers' observations and interviews, three English language instructors, and also, uh, yeah, uh, uh, comprised of uh, language teachers and also uh, lecturers, yeah, uh, interviewed at different times, and their speeches are recorded and analyzed. Constant observation of their goals page are done, and all participants are female. Okay, this is basically the background of the participants. Yeah, so this this is uh, a qualitative study. Yeah, um, all right. See, so this is a goal page. 
Okay, sample of group. Okay, results and discussions. Yeah, all right. All instructors are highly motivated in integrating goals in their lesson. Right, because we find that okay, goals have um, helped us in increase increase the uh, motivation and also the you know make students uh, passionate about learning. Yeah, and all of them agree that the integration of goals in their lesson has added extra spices into their teaching experiences. Yeah. Instructor, instructor supervision is the key factor. Okay, this is what I mean. This findings is similar uh, to Chick Juniana's um, slide just now, right? We believe that teachers are central. Teachers, it depends on the teacher. If, if teacher just upload and you know leave the page to be viewed by the uh, the students, then I think uh, I mean we we believe that e-learning is not really you know fully benefited by by the students. Yeah, so. Actually, uh, teachers or instructors' supervision is the key factor that leads to the success of e-learning implementation. Yeah? And instructors should be enthusiastic and passionate about e-learning before they can foster students to be more engaged in the e-learning environment. Therefore, it is necessary for the instructors to be competent and updated on the latest technology and computer skills. I think I, I've talked to Chik Huda just now and they said that goals, Goal is planning to have a training back this year. I mean, training for uh, the new the novice language teachers, especially how to use um, Goal Squeeze, how to upload documents, files, and so on. I think that is a good act for us, I mean, to really um, you know, boost the like, the use of e-learning in UCM, yeah, inshallah. It is discovered that students of this course need to be constantly reminded. This is what we find, okay, of our students, GEP, basically. We have to remind them to check your go their goals, okay, and remind them because they are not, like, they are not, they, they are not um, autonomous, right? They have to be constantly reminded, okay? As they always depend on the instructors to deliver the content rather than take charge of the learning. I believe that some of my colleagues here, okay, especially those who teach FKP, uh, FPBU, and FPQS, you know, they are very weak, okay? We have to. I mean, the student, the students themselves, they really depend on the teachers. Yeah, the learner autonomy is something, you know, it's very hard to to be achieved at the moment. Yeah, uh, compared to FST or maybe FM students, maybe they are, uh, they are better. Yeah, so um, the instructors face difficulty in introducing the e-learning concept to the student, especially if the students are at the beginner level of ICD skills. In fact, uh, some uh, one of the participants, the lecturer in FBU, said that she has to. Teach the student, one of this particular student, how to email, how to use email, not really how to use goals, uh, quiz, or whatever, email. Okay? Uh, so imagine how that is the challenges. Okay? How can we go about uh, technology and you know, e learning and so on if, let's say, the student's level is at that, uh, you know? Level. They agree that, okay, this is the, the, I mean, the participant, all of them, okay, agree that face to face class is still relevant to basic English proficiency course and in fact vital, still vital, yeah? because the students need real life explanation and demonstration on grammar rules. Still, maybe because of that reason, we cannot totally um, you know, transfer our class to be online because the students really need us to be physically in, attend you know, in the class. Right? Despite the students' lack of proficiency, however, it is discovered that students' motivation in participating in e-learning is quite amazing. But as what Cik Julana said just now, they tend to copy paste the, okay yes we do we do have forum but the students responses we know when we read the responses by the students they, this is not their word this they, they take it somewhere right especially when the tasks are closely monitored by the instructors and their participation are fairly rewarded yeah Okay, so these are the recommendations to, I mean, all of us and also for the Goal Center, the instructors have to equip themselves. This is for us, right? I really hope that Goal Center, after this, I mean, for this year, 2015, they can have more and more training sessions, yeah? Short training courses for maybe for one department, one unit. For, for example, for us, it's English language unit. How can we, you know, uh, use Prezi, use Voki in our classroom, okay? And the implementation of blended learning techniques involving a balanced mix of face-to-face -face interaction, safe-paced uh, safe learning, 
and online interactions. This would help the students in getting accustomed to the new way of learning. This direct them to be independent and active, right? And the next, last one, the instructor should develop a collaborative teaching culture. Actually, at the beginning of, of the semester, I had an idea to have a goal page page that is shared by all students but you know when I opened the I mean discussion among the teachers and we believe that we should not have one page of goals I mean for GEP um, because everyone everybody has different style different you know things to be uploaded so that's why I have to you know uh, not to continue this idea but I don't know maybe Jeffrey, after this maybe we can have one shared goal page one personalized goal page I don't know can, can we that do that <laughs> in the next semester maybe so that the instructors can contribute to one goal page a major goal page yeah? so uh, for sharing e content for example yeah so you seem has to set a clear policy on this matter to encourage more and more instructors to be involved in the establishment of virtual curriculum and testing system oh yeah uh, due to that I mean explanation just now yeah I have one um, teacher explain I mean uh, who who disagree with the chat goal page said that how can you seem uh, access me how can you seem great me if I if like, just, just immediately if I am alone uh, upload all the quizzes all the so okay it's not it's not going to be fair because other people other teachers can you know simply take it from my work so that is one policy that I think you see or goal center can maybe come out okay maybe you know to to encourage the uh, you know e-learning e-content uh, culture because because I believe that sharing is caring sharing is you know something that we can actually uh, develop yeah from from this e-learning yeah right oh, that's all for now <laughs> okay thank you very much.